Hello, I am going to show you how to use VLOOKUP. So let's look at it. VLOOKUP is a search query. It just simply means that you are using a function in Excel to look for data. Basically, the way it works is it, you have part of information, but you don't have full information about something. So, for example, you know about a company name, but you do not know the location of that company. So, we will use VLOOKUP to find out where certain company is located. So, to do that, in real world, let's say your manager or your senior comes to you and asks, gives you a company name, and they ask you to tell him where this company is located. Okay. So VLOOKUP is very practical uh, tool uh, in Excel. In fact, it is so useful and so important that a lot of companies that um, hire people, they want pe people to, they want em employees to know specifically VLOOKUP. Uh, even they, it is so important that even in job description, they will mention VLOOKUP by name. So it is important that you know how this VLOOKUP function works. I will show you how it works. It's very easy and let's look at it. So the way we start is you always start with um, uh, equal sign, right? Then you press V L and then it brings up VLOOKUP. You just press tab to complete it. You can type it by yourself or you can just press hit tab on your keyboard and it will fill complete the word we look up now now you will notice that it has uh, come up with a uh, vlookup value okay it's ask basically it's asking for a lookup value we need to first give it a value and then after that it will find a relevant value for us so what let's say we want to find out where uh, this company steel and co is located okay so we know the name of the company, Steel and Co, and we need to find out where it is located, which country it is located in. So in lookup value, we give Excel something something to look for, something to start looking for. So lookup value is that just that. So you select that, then you press comma, and then it's asking for table array. Okay, table array is nothing but a range of data so starting and ending of data so you just select the, your all data that you have just select it all okay and then press comma again like that and now it is asking for column index number column index number is nothing just but just column number okay so you'll see up here it's, 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 it's these alphabets here b c d is the standard ones Obviously, it starts with A. I have A column hidden because I didn't need that. So you will see A, B, C, D on top. It's not these column numbers it is asking for. It's asking for how many columns actually call you have in your spreadsheet. So we have one, two, three, four, and five columns. I, um, for your, uh, for for you to make for make it easy to make it easy, I have numbered them one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here in column index number, it is asking for which column to look for in for the answer basically. And what we want to know here, we want to know the country where this company is located, the country that this company is located in. So we know the column number is what? One, two, three. Okay, so in column index number, all you do is press put three. Okay, and now you can just press enter and it will be enough. So let's press enter and see what happens. Here you go. It says USA. Um, so Steel & Co is where? U UK. Why is it doing that USA? Because there's something I have missed. And what you do is uh, you press um, comma here and there's one more last option shows up which is true or false. Always. When you're starting with VLOOKUP, always start with false. 
So we I press select false and press enter and there you go UK. Okay. So if you look at here, Steel and Co. Country it is located in UK. So there you go. That's your V lookup. That's how simple it is. Let's try it one more time. Say equal sign V lookup. Okay, lookup value. Let's say we want to know where this company is. Gen next. Okay, so I'll just click on that. Yes, that's the value that it will start looking from. And then is we press comma table array. Remember what is table array? Table range. So we just select the whole table, the whole data set that we have. Okay, then press comma again. Now again, column index number, which is what? Column number. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. It could be any number of columns. It could be just two columns or it could be 200 columns, de depending on the data that you are working with in the company. Obviously, in every company, it will be different. Here, for just for the sake of this uh, tutorial, we have just five columns. And the column number that we are looking data in is column three again, because we want to know where this gen next company is located. So I will press number three. That's the column number. Uh, again, don't confuse it with, with these columns up, up here. We are looking at how many, you have to know how many columns exactly there are and which column number you need to be looking into. You will not always have these one, two, three, four, five in, in your data. This is just, I have put it there for you to, um, to for you to understand how, how it is working. So now we come back to our column and then we press three because three is the column number where we are looking for. and comma last remember i said always select false we we will talk about it in another video what is true and false but for now just always select false okay and press enter there you go pakistan okay so gen next is in pakistan you uh, here steel and co is in uk gen next in pakistan so you can do that for any other company so there you go guys that's how we look up works i hope you understood it the best thing is to do it with your own hands create a small spreadsheet if you don't already have one you just you just need two columns to work with create one column with names create another column with countries or any data that you want and run we look up function on it do it two or three four times and, and then you will you will understand it better than just watching a video um i hope you understood understood it um if you if you like to see more of this i will be doing more videos because there's a lot more in we look up to learn and um, like i said it's it is a very very important tool very very important function to learn in excel so you have to learn this so um the best thing is to learn it in smaller small chunks because trying to learn it all in one go is is not easy it is to it is a lot. There's lots of things to learn within we look up alone. So we will go over other things in other videos. I hope you liked it. Uh, and most importantly, you understood it. Thank you very much. And see you in another video.